Or Wait something. a second. Heisenhof just said baby shark is poison ivy to my ears? So when you hear baby shark, your ears start to itch? What? Your ears start to itch and they have a rash? When you hear baby shark. That's first, man. Sorry to hear about the poison ivy ears. That's that's very unique. You might need to see a doctor about that. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't it be funny? You go to the doctor to get this issue treated. And in the waiting room, there's a bunch of children. <laughs> and they're playing baby shark on their on their iPads or whatever. That would be that would be amazing. Uh, I, that would kill me. Uh, thank you, Heisenholf. Thank you, Horse Deer. Let's go, guys. Let's cast this game. We have a 1v1 between Hera and Fat Dragon. This matchup uh, is quite close. I think I would slightly favor Berbers. But it, Italians can certainly do well here. Uh, I know that in the previous games, the colors were flip-flopped. I know that this is going to be confusing, but I'm going to get used to this now because this is the standard colors they're playing in. Uh, makes it easier. That way I don't have to go back into the game and switch it every time. I should have known better at the start. But Hera is in the blue. He's in the northwest of the map. Again, playing as the Italians. And then this guy is Vivi, otherwise known as the Fat Dragon. He's playing as the Berbers. <laughs> baby shark. We got a budget baby shark for you. Thanks, man. <laughs> uh... I'm gonna introduce this. We're gonna we're gonna pretend this is a tournament cast now, okay? I'm gonna cast this properly. Not that I did in the previous games, but I want to talk about the maps. All right. Uh, the main gold is to the right of the main TC for Fat Dragon. The secondary gold's in the back, and then the third gold's to the left. So he has three options. I think the theme here for him is if he controls the hills, he'll be in a great position. If he doesn't control the hills, it could be a problem for him. A hill on the front of his base. Next to the berry, stone, and two wood lines. Hole on the left, next to wood lines and gold in the stone. And then you have gold and wood on the right. Uh, it could be particularly difficult against Hera, too, because Hera has an archer sieve. So, Italians, sometimes they'll go with man at arms into archers. Sometimes they'll go drush into crossbows. Sometimes they'll go, like, scouts into archers. They're typically going with archers, right? So if you have those archers up on the hill, they're going to be... Tw almost twice as deadly. Now, someone's mentioning the Genoese crossbow. Uh, it's a unit that's really rare to see, honestly, but they're very strong when you get to them. Uh, the unique unit for Hera's Civ is a Genoese crossbow, and they have a counter versus cav. Uh, so they do very good against the cheap cavalier and camels that Fat Dragon can make. Uh, even decent versus the camel archers. So I would probably expect a Scouts and Skirms in combination for Vivi. And then some type of Man at Arm opening into Archers is what I would expect for Hera. And that's what the meta tends to be. Yep, and there's the Barracks. So uh, Hera's base is way more open though. It, it can be fine if he walls up. But this would be complicated. Two wood lines, that's it. Both can be ranged. These golds would be fine as long as he walls across this way, but expanding to the stones, expanding to the extra resources I would be tough. Again. I actually remembered to. Lol. Tars is welcome, man. Thank you for the host. Uh, I'm going to assume that you were casting some T90 games, like some Discord games, but I could be way wrong on that. Hope your stream went well, man. Good, we needed a new mod here. And Shalker hasn't really been doing much today. We'll put Tarzes to work. Hobo, thank you. Thank you for the bits, man. Thank you, me think, for two months. Oh, what is this? Four villagers? Is this the classic Vivi rush? Where is he going? Ooh, it's a classic Vivi rush, and Hera's not going to spot it. Hera doesn't see the villagers. And Hera will, will scout and see one lumber camp. He will see a second lumber camp, and so he might think that this is scouts, which is what I would have expected. Hera could get really surprised by this. And now Vivi notices that the militia are on the way. Oh no! You gotta run this way! Run to the north! Run to the north! Okay, this is interesting. 
<gasps> oh, Hera doesn't see the destructed palisade. Okay, so there's a couple of things that went down there. Vivi realized the militia were coming. That's important. He scouted that. Then he ran into a wolf, which slowed him down. After he killed the wolf, there was a little wolf carcass there. Had Hera scouted the wolf carcass, it would have alerted him as to what was up. So he palisaded the wolf carcass, then deleted the palisade. However, there's rubble there because he actually built the palisade. So and that's a problem. Now, Hera wants to run into underneath the TC. He gets a scout in there, but the man-at-arms are going to be stranded. And Hera <laughs> also gated in the scout. Sneaky move. Now, will he see the tower? He doesn't see the tower, and this is a beautiful tower. Now, Hera's got to be confused, right? Because he doesn't see the barracks. And so he might now be thinking, well, where is he? What is he doing? Is he forwarding me? Well, he's going to find out the hard way. There is a tower behind his wood line. Now, he's trying his best to get in here. If he gets in here, he could do some real damage. Vivi has the forward production buildings, right? So he can't reinforce at home. But man, is that a good tower. Jeez, it hits the berry villagers. It'll hit the lumberjacks. And now he's making skirmishers in preparation for the archers that Hera's going to be making. So it's a decent build, as always with towers. You have to keep them up long term. They don't always pay off right after you build them. Keep them up for 10, 20 minutes in a game, then you have great map control over your opponent. So there's a huge investment because of the idle time of sending bills forward. Towers are not that cheap. But if you, you hold on, if you keep them up, then you're normally good to go. Uh, Vivi is known for his forwards. He's known for his towers. He's really good with it. And actually, Hera tends to struggle versus that style as well. This is funny how Hera has the scout trapped in here. Vivi wants to save his brother. Now Hera is sending villagers. Now, now Hera is placing a tower here. That's an interesting decision. I think he could do it, you know. He has his man-at-arms coming back. He's repairing this gate as well. This is really well played from Hera. Excellent defense. This gate repair means the scout will die. And fortunately for the dragon, he has faster villagers. So he's able to get out of here with his vills. But he's losing HP on the skirms. Uh, yeah, messy stuff. Messy stuff. But the scout will go down, and that will be the first kill of the game. Now, Hera's just committed to his first tower. Only start with 200 stone. Towers are 125 stone, so you need to invest in the more... Uh, you, sorry, you need to collect more stone if you want more towers. Vivi has done so. So in that amount of time, he's been collecting stone. I, no, don't tower here. No, 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 no. I mean, Vivi would know better than me, but this seems like a very risky position. You almost need to place it next to your other tower for protection. Not when there's man-at-arms around, my friend. Wow. I, I, I'd like to see Hera use that scout to scout the other areas of the map. He can't use it for fights now. Great job keeping that alive. It's very weak. Yeah, this is where I think that Vivi should have placed his tower... Uh, but now Hera has enough stone. So, uh, that minute was so huge for Hera. Uh, however, he sent weak bills out here. He's also counter-attacking at the moment. Which Vivi will have no defense for. Vivi will probably need to tower there. Erbalim, thanks for 11 months, man. Almost here. I'll get to your question here in a second, alright? Because this game is is pretty spicy. Well, no fletching on the archer. Oh, no! Oh, Hera's unlucky. And, and Vivi's very lucky he didn't let the units in here. Did both players get their towers up here? Uh, Vivi's actually harassing the gold miners at the moment. Uh, Hera doesn't have a big answer to the, uh, to the skirmishers, except the man-at-arms, which he has sent forward. But anyways, what, what I was about to say, because this is getting extremely sloppy, is... There's no fletching on the archers. And with no fletching, Hera will, will not be able to snipe villagers easily. 
If you have five five archers with fletching, you can two-shot bills. Uh, but he only has four here. And I would expect that Vivi will probably send skirmishers back, or he'll just tower at home. And now Hera needs to tower at home, because again, he doesn't have answers to the skirmishers. Has lost a villager, and that puts him five behind. Which is pretty surprising, to be honest. Great defense from Fat Dragon. Like, to recognize that he could defend with towers, and then push forward with his skirms... Great recognition, and he's probably not done there with the towers. He might now come over here to the gold and tower this before Hare has a response. Man, Vivi's so good with forwards. It's insane. Oh god, but but Hera's made a stable. Okay, that would be a counter to the skirms. So Vivi has about a minute to get that tower up. But the second enough scouts arrive... Hera could clean all of this up. Now, Vivi's experienced, so he probably expects there to be uh, scouts eventually. Oh, he sees the stable, though. Yeah, so he has one spear. That, that spear might be enough for now. now. Vivi will calmly collect the deer for food, which is just so funny to me. It, the fact that players do that at this stage of the game, especially in such an exposed area. Man, this is high-level stuff. Hera is saving weak villagers and the towers he's building. Uh, Vivi doesn't mind losing a few skirms. He just wants to buy himself enough time to get his tower up. Wow. So remember, this tower is still up. Hera, he's come over to the wood for some reason. This is where towers begin to be very strong. Oh, he's lost two vills. I jinxed him. He lost three villagers. I jinxed him. I said he was doing a great job at keeping the weak ones alive. Wow. How good is the dragon with these forwards, man? Ridiculous. Oh, no. Another vill will die. Oh, jeez. Hera's going to be tilted. Hera's going to be tilted. He so badly wants to stop this tower. That won't happen. He lost another farmer. Oh, look Look at this, guys. You need to delete farms that are within tower range because once they finish up the farms elsewhere, they're going to go back to the farms that you vacated to finish that off. And that's what happened there. Weak villagers finished farms at the worst possible time for Hera and then ran to these farms. Uh, watch. It'll happen again here. The vills aren't as weak, but like this this farm here has 50 food. So they'll go right within the tower's range if Hera doesn't delete those. Really is something that he should know. Well, Hera needs to somehow kill villagers. Uh, he needs a counterattack. And he does have the stable. He also built a tower here, so he'll try and shoot this down, but Fat Dragon will now repair that. Uh, I'm quite surprised that Vivi's waltzed all the way in here, knowing the stable's there. Uh, I'm not sure what he expected to happen, but maybe he forgot about it. Yeah, this farmer is doomed. This guy, this guy's name is Jim. And Jim is gonna die, eventually. Okay, so Vivi sent over the spear to protect himself. And he'll get, he'll make it out with some of the skirmishers. I think Vivi should just go to Castle Age now, to be honest. Yep, another tower going up. They probably should back this one up. The Hera has a lot of idle time. L look at this. Hera is placing archers inside the tower to try and shoot this one down. Placing archers inside this tower to try and shoot this one down. That's much better than, than villagers, but still less than ideal. Awas says, T90, glad to catch the stream. Is this just standard pro games? Uh, yep, these are rated games, but I would call them far from standard, man. Because everyone seems to be playing at a really high level over the last few days. Uh, I think MBL's online playing some games as well. I, I don't think Hera and MBL play each other anymore, which is kind of sad. But, uh, but, but anyways, we get to see Fat Dragon and Hera for the moment. You know what might bail Hera out is the fact that Italians have a cheaper uptime. Or up cost. I always say uptime. So, Hera will be behind Castle Age, but he might be able to get there. 
The hero really wants to snipe this guy. Yeah, he's building a defensive tower. And <laughs> he's just passing. That's funny. Berbervilles, man. So speedy. <laughs> they walk with such purpose. Ah! Yep, he's in the tower. Nice. He's really fast. He hopped in the tower, got to the top floor, and started shooting arrows within half a second. Such a pro move. T90, your stream is buffering a lot. My current net speed is 30 Mbps. Is it not enough, or how do I stop the buffering? I mean, I haven't heard of any other complaints, noob. So maybe it's something on your end. I'm not dropping any frames. And I don't think I've heard those complaints from you before. So maybe your your internet service provider's failing you today. Well, this is an engagement that Fat Dragon's gonna take because he doesn't care about this military anymore. It's kind of the same with Hera, to be honest. They're both trading. They're both going into knights. The problem here is, like, this, this is so much better for Fat Dragon. Hera's now fully walled. He's only defending with towers. Fat Dragon gets cheap knights. So he can get chain barding armor and he could flood knights into Hera's base. That's what towers do. Towers open you up a little bit. So you can't wall your base. Uh, tower rush into full on knights and castle ages. Fantastic strategy. Yeah, I, I'm not hearing any complaints from others, but maybe, I don't know, some occasionally Twitch servers can be problematic. But yeah, man, I would just try refreshing it. Um, that's pretty much all I can tell you, unfortunately. I mean, if it was if it was an issue with a lot of people, if a lot of people were experiencing problems, I could maybe make an adjustment. But yeah, give it give it like a half hour and, and see what happens. So what Hera could try and get to is the Genoese crossbow. I fear that he's fallen too far far behind, but he could try and get to the Genoese crossbow. He's saving stone. He's lost a few villagers here, but he is walling up. Yeah, he has... Um, oh, you know what? That's kind of sad. He's out of stone, and he needs 75 more stone. And he doesn't have gold to buy that stone. Because the, he's being raided constantly underneath the towers. He just lost Jim. Or Bob. I forget what I called that guy's name. I forget what I called that guy's name. I forget what name I called that guy. That's the way I'm supposed to say that. Vivi's just played this perfectly, man. Vivi is a beast when it comes to forwards. The second this guy waltzes villagers into your base, you, you better be worried. Like now he's making a monastery to heal his knights and to get any conversions on Hera's knights. And I'm sure that Hera's gonna build that castle eventually. I'm sure we might see Genoese crossbow. But by that time, I, I would expect that, that Vivi will have a huge villager lead. He's still been repairing this tower this entire time to keep an eye on this gold. 69 population for Fat Dragon. He dives in to kill more villagers. He pretty much researched the forging upgrade just so he could snipe villagers faster. Huge build lead for him now. He's back underneath these towers. He's on the right side sniping villagers. Insane play from Vivi. This is nuts. Look at the build difference now. 56 to 36. And meanwhile, he's booming at home. So he'll be on three town centers producing vills, and he has a 20 vill lead. A hero runs out of here to snipe the villager. Fat Dragon's like, oh, nope, not today, I'm sorry. Oh, and I have a monk here for you. Join my religion. We have uh, free cookies. <laughs> that That's a religion. I would suddenly become religious if I could get free cookies. Someone make that a religion. All right. Instead of Scientology, we can make it uh, Sugartology. Dark Prowler, uh, good luck to the densest man. I want to say borderline flawless play from Vivi. There's a few instances where he probably built some questionable towers, but how can you question the man who plays this good? And yes, I am a fanboy, alright? I am a fanboy. Whoa! 
Hera's making a trade cart. Did he, by the way, did he sell all of his stone? I've been trying to figure that out. I think he knows it's over. <laughs> so he wants to trade. <laughs> okay, time to play Ride of the Valkyries. <laughs> oh my god. I believe he's scouting for the market. Wouldn't it be funny if Vivi makes a market right now? I don't think he has one. Hera definitely feels like he's dead. So he wants to trade. Or he created this by accident. A lot of players do that. Because their hotkeys are configured in a weird way. So maybe he's just scouting with it. If I were Hera, I would just, I would just roll with it and act like it was planned. I think he, he probably misclicked it or something. And then he's just scouting with it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well, he really seems to be trying elsewhere. So I, I don't think this is a troll. I think he misclicked it. Oof. What a bummer. This freaking guard tower is still up. He did research guard tower, by the way. How annoying. How much damage has he done with one single tower? Insane. Insane in the membrane. Um, more knights, way more upgrades. The knights are fully upgraded. And more monks for Vivi. I think Harrow will get conversions, though. But then he'll lose all of his monks. Vivi can just convert him right back. Look at all these red lines. Eighty villagers versus forty-four. This is fine. No attack upgrades, and only one defense upgrade for Hera. While Vivi has plus two, plus two. This is fine. This is fine. I think Hera's on a bit of a tilt. But I mean, I, I don't know. That could just be Hera's reputation getting to me. Did he just convert a skirmisher? He just converted a skirmisher. <laughs> oh no, now he's gonna lose some knights! Woo, man, these conversions are close. Did Hera say I'm tilted, that's why I'm playing? Yeah, okay, seems about right. <laughs> like, it's not just Hera, like, I, if I'm playing on in a game like this, it's because I'm tilted. I, I know exactly how it goes. And Vivi is just going to make matters so much worse for him. He's going to castle drop his face. Just like in the previous game, by the way. But the previous game, while well, it was impressive from Vivi... Actually, you know what? The previous game was super impressive. Uh, but this game was even more impressive. And, and Hera's hoping that Vivi will make a big mistake. But with Atonement, Hera's now lost one of his monks. And Vivi converted it. And Vivi dives in to fight underneath the towers. We'll get the castle up. And now Hera taps out and calls the GG. This game all comes down to the lack of scouting from Hera, to be honest. When Vivi gets forward, he's ruthless. He's amazing. However, Hera should have spotted that there was no barracks here. In fact, he, he didn't see a barracks. That should be as good as... as um, Th that's as good as it's going to get as far as scouting intel goes. He ran forward with his man-at-arms, had his scout running around, even ran his scout within Vivi's walls and didn't see the barracks. So when you're playing versus the Fat Dragon, you have to expect the forward. Uh, something happened there. He either scouted late or he just wasn't thinking properly. And once this tower got up, I said it. You know, initially there wasn't a lot to back it up and Harris' defense was good, but... One tower turned into two towers, turned into three towers, turned into four towers, turned into guard tower. And behind all that pressure, the fat dragon was, was booming up. It is an all-you-can-eat buffet at his economy. Five TCs. Ends the game with 93 bills versus the 40 of Hera. Because um, like I said, you need to prevent the forward from getting started. His defense was decent. He gated in the scout. I liked this tower. Uh, and I liked some of the other towers, but Vivi's, he just knows how to hang around. Uh, and then he, he played right into the strength of Berbers with the night follow-up. Okay, 
Uh, I'll pull up the Chiefs for that one because that one was so impressive. I think that that one's going to see YouTube. That would make the score three one between these two. Uh, Forty eight kills for Vivi, uh, and this is no surprise, right? Way more food, way more wood, way more stone and gold collected. Just the small things he does with the random villagers and the monks and the repairs and the garrisons. It goes so far. He's probably one of the most annoying players to play against. I think most pro players would agree with that statement. 